Hey everyone, I hope all of you are doing really well and are excited for what's to come. Um, so, um, I have made an entire video compilation of Revelation 12 because for the last week I've been studying Revelation 12 and so many things have been revealed to me. It Like, it's never been revealed to me in such a way as this time. Like, previously I've, like, read through Revelation 12 and such, but you know, it was just like I was reading a book. I, I didn't understand anything because we know Revelation 12 is really confusing. But it's like this time when I was studying it, God revealed so much to me and I kept like all these light bulbs kept going off here, there, here, everywhere. It just started linking everywhere. And what's so surprising is everything is linking to this date in September. Now, I want to talk to you about that. So, in this video, I'm going to do a very quick overview of um, the Revelation 12 and its timeline, okay? And um, then, uh, I also did, so basically, since I also did a video uh, going in depth detail, um, I'll be posting that one after this video. Um, for those of you who want to uh, see everything that I have found out, because I guarantee you, I'm going to tell you things that you never knew before, okay? But I'm going to quickly go over um, the... I made so many notes, like, <laughs> it's crazy. But I'm going to go over the, the timeline, which is currently set for Revelation 12, okay? So, um, I'm going to read everything to you quickly um just so you can see the basic timeline because what i discovered was that there are a lot of things in revelation that happen the same time and a lot of people believe that because the bible is not in chronological order they don't know where to start with they don't know where things fall in they don't know what happens when what happens before and because when when john says um and after this i saw and he'll talk about things and he'll say and after that I saw so people think that everything that he saw happens after each thing that he saw and that's not the case these things happen the same time they these things that he talks about all happen the same time so here it talks about uh, this is the, the current the current timeline which I was able to uh, compile for you okay so um, it starts off with the throne and the elders, okay? And um, keep this in mind, the, the, the people asking, the disciples asking for when God's return will be. And he says, what will be the, uh, what, they say, what will be the sign of your return? And Jesus says, oh, it's like going to be earthquakes and, you know, pestilence and famine and, and, and all that kind of stuff, okay? So, then it talks about the 12 tribes of I Israel. Then the seven seals and the trumpets, the seven trumpets are blown together. Okay, keep that in mind. They're blown together. So the seals and the seven trumpets are, are they're all happening the same time. It's not the seals and then the seven trumpets. It's the seals and the trumpets together. Okay, then the great sign appears in heaven. That is Revelation 12. That is the um, the constellation Virgo and Leo and the planets and everything like that, okay? Which is interesting. I also discovered something very interesting about Egypt, the Sphinx and the three pyramids relating to Revelation 12 and that they were made specifically for Revelation 12. If you read in Isaiah 19, verse 19. Okay, then... Remember all the blood moons that happened in the previous year and the year before? That also links to Revelation 12. Okay, you can, I'll tell you all about that in my long video, which will be in the next video. <laughs> okay. Um, directly after Revelation 12, the dragon gets cast down to earth because there's going to be a war in heaven. And we know that because the dragon gets cast down to earth, there's going to be a three and a half year period where the beast rises, uh, where the beast comes 
and you know deceives the nations and the antichrist and all that so that is the start of the great tribulation because many think that the antichrist is going to rule for seven years but he's not it says the 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 beast has been given 1260 days that is only three and a half years the same time the two witnesses come to prophesy who will be killed by the beast at the end of the three and a half years in the land spiritually known as Sodom and Egypt. Okay, so the, the, the rise of the Antichrist and the false prophet comes and the mark of the beast comes. And then when the start of the Great Tribulation starts, um, that is when the seven bowls will fall upon the earth only on those who took the mark of the beast okay then it speaks about um the 144,000 that will be sealed which is the seven tribes uh, i mean the 12 tribes of um israel which also represents 12 stars above uh virgo's head okay she was clothed with 12 stars okay I mean, above her head was 12 stars, sorry. I have just so much, I want to say that I'm like speaking too quickly. <laughs> okay. Um, then there are the tribulation saints, okay? And it says that those who are before God standing um, on a sea of glass, they, they say, how long, O Lord, will you um, avenge our blood um, on, on those who dwell on the earth? And then... The Mystery Babylon, the Mystery Babylon, whoever that may be, the Vatican City or the, um, I don't know, some people say it might be somewhere in America, but when that secret Mystery Babylon is destroyed, then God says um, that he has avenged the blood of the prophets and the saints, okay? So when the witnesses die, that very hour there's going to be a great earthquake within that hour the sun is going to turn dark the moon is going to turn to blood and great hail is going to fall upon men okay then the sky is going to roll up like a scroll it's going to open up the sky is going to open up and then jesus is going to return with all his saints and then the first resurrection is going to happen. All those who died in Christ before. Okay. And. Um, basically. Um, uh, basically then after that. That's when Jesus is going to come and destroy the armies. Who are going to uh, make war against Jesus. That's, that says. Uh, that is mentioned when. Um, uh, a sword. It, it, they, it, it said that a sword will proceed from um, from Jesus and uh, an angel who stands in the sun calls all the the um, the birds in heaven to come for the great feast so they'll be feasting on the flesh of those who make who want to make war against God okay a little bit scary if you think about it but i mean no so then the antichrist and the false prophet are thrown alive into the lake of fire and satan is cast into the bottomless pit for 1000 years okay then those who were raptured are they're gonna it's said that they will have the um, they're going to have a rod of iron to rule in the, the, the nations, okay? So, those who are who died in Christ as well, they're going to rule the earth with an iron rod for 1,000 years with Jesus, okay? And then after the 1,000 years of uh, peace, there is going to be, uh, Satan will be released from his bottomless pit and will make, uh, will deceive the nations once again for a short time okay and then um many are going to make war against god and this and his his saints and then it says god is going to send down fire from heaven and devour them all and then the second resurrection is going to happen that is all those who died who did not believe in christ so they are going to rise up 
And then there's going to be the Great Judgment Day. And it says, um, the, the sea gave up the dead. It said the hell gave up the dead. And it said also that um, when jo John speaks about the revelation, when um, uh, the Great Judgment occurs, he says, then the dead were judged. So only those who died without Christ will be judged. A lot believe that every single person on this earth is going to be standing in the front of the throne and be judged. That is not true. It says only the dead who um, died without Christ will be judged. Because it says when the first resurrection happens, those who died within Christ, they will not partake in the second death. And the second death only happens to those who um, get judged on Judgment Day, okay? Then, after the Great Judgment Day, there is going to be a new heaven and a new earth. It says, the first heaven and the first earth will, um, will be destroyed. Now, listen carefully. When Jesus talks about... It, uh, that verse in Matthew and says, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words will never pass away. Basically, he says his words will, will remain, okay? He says, but, but of that day when heaven and earth passes away, no man knows the day or the hour. So, please, a lot of you um, are getting confused between his return and the rapture and saying that no one knows the day or the hour concerning that. But Jesus was specifically using that verse for the end of the world, literally. The end of earth, the end of um, heaven, the first heaven. It specifically says the end of the first heaven and the end of the first earth. And we know that there's more than one heaven because in the, in the beginning, of Revela uh, beginning of Genesis, uh, it says, in the beginning, God made the heavens and the earth, okay? So, then there's going to be a new earth, and there's going to be a new heaven. And the new Jerusalem is going to come on, onto the new earth. And um, then it says, death and hell will be cast into the lake of fire as well. So, there will be no more death. There'll be no more how, there'll be no more sin, there'll be no more anything. It's just going to be forever eternity living with God on the new earth. How amazing is that? Uh, and so yeah, that's basically the, the overall timeline which is occurring. Okay, so we are already in the seven year tribulation. Considering on, we already witnessed all the earthquakes, wars, rumors of wars, I mean this new war that's supposedly gonna start soon. Um, the great tribulation which will start directly after Revelation 12, directly after the signs in the sky appear. Also, note that um, this sign that appears in the sky is the only year ever to have the exact um, the exact thing is written in Revelation happening in the sky, okay? You you can use like different apps, like I use a few apps on my phone and there's one on my computer as well to confirm this. You can travel back in time, you can travel forward in time to see how the stars aligned during these periods and there there is a similar encounter um, for this sign to appear but um, not everything fell in place, so it did not fulfill the Revelation 12 sign perfectly, as it does in Revela in 2017. So, 2017 is the only year, it is the only year where this um, alignment of the stars will happen so perfectly, okay? Um... We know that Jesus says there will be signs in the sun, the moon, and stars. When it, 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 there's just uh, God gives so much signs in the sun, moon, and it's just re being revealed so much to me. But if you want to know more about the details of everything that I just spoke about, considering the timeline um, and Egypt, 
with the Sphinx and the Free Permit, and um, a lot more with the uh, the Rapture as well. I will speak to that to you with that in my next video. Okay, just know that we are we are basically at the end. Okay, we are basically going to enter the um, Great Tribulation really, really soon, shortly after the 23rd of September. If the Rapture does not happen then, it still means that we're going to enter into the Great Tribulation regardless whether the ha Rapture happens or not. But, but, there are a lot of signs and, and verses pointing to that there very well might definitely be a rapture happening, okay? So, whether it happens or not, we need to stay ready, okay? So, um, if you want to see the complete details, everything that I went into, um, then watch the next video, okay? So, God bless you all, and um, I pray that Jesus will reveal these things to you, like he revealed these things to me in such a short period of time, which is, like, really exciting for me. I'm, like, really, really excited compared to last year where I wasn't really, you know, that excited for it. I, I was a little bit depressed, but this year I'm really excited. Things are like, I've never seen anything that matching up so perfectly. So <laughs> yeah. So I will see you all again soon and um, I'll upload my two, my, my long video if I can, I hope I can, if YouTube permits it <laughs> but yeah um if you're interested in that then get something like uh get something nice to drink and get some notes ready get your bible ready because we're gonna go in a lot of detail and i'm gonna reveal lots of things to you that jesus revealed to me okay well i will guess i'll see you guys then um take care and get ready for what i'm gonna tell you goodbye <laughs>